Hi everyone, Sherry Gauthier here. I wanted to take a moment to show you how to go live with YouTube. So we went through how to convert a Facebook party concept to a squee party today. And so I wanted to show you really quickly how you can incorporate your YouTube live like you like to on that Facebook platform that is no longer working for you. So I'm using our Norwex YouTube channel. Yours will look similar. It's pretty straightforward. You would come to your YouTube channel and as if you are going to upload a video, you click the little camera and instead of uploading a video, you click the go live button. So what will happen is it's going to actually make me title this. So I'm going to say for squee party. Okay. And I don't want it public. I'm going to unlist this. And smile because the YouTube um, preview is going to be you usually with your eyes closed. I hit this share area and I'm going to grab this link to copy because this is the link that I will want to put into my squee planner. So you noticed that I added a video post. Okay. And what I want to do though is I want to change the video to my live stream. So again, I got that link from my control room here. And it's instead of the go live button, we want to click share and grab this link, copy. So again, it's just like any other video post. I'm just going to select add video post. And when that populates, I'm going to hit this change video button and update it to the link that I just copied from my live control room area under share. Then during the party when I hit go live, it will stream automatically into my squee event. Now I want to set this minimum time to probably six minutes just to be sure that it doesn't cut me off. So as you know, you can manually forward to the next slide during your squee event. You just don't want to run out of time during your live event. I don't think I'll go live for more than a minute or two. And so I've set that to six minutes. I hit save progress and I have embedded my live into my squee event. So the other thing I wanted to point out that unless you have 1000 subscribers on your YouTube channel, you won't be able to go live on a mobile phone. So you're either going to have to have a camera or you're going to have to have a camera on your laptop computer. So I'm showing you today from a computer desktop. And if you want to go live from a mobile phone, you will have to have a YouTube channel with a minimum of 1000 subscribers. So I hope that helps and be sure to check out our other training on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Norwex, and there are different playlists available that house our training. Thanks again, and hope this was helpful.